friends, welcome to Foods and Flavors. This is Shilpi. Let's make butter paneer masala today. It's a very famous dish and made in many ways. Today I'm showing the version which I feel is authentic and very easy to do. So let me show you how to make this creamy, buttery paneer butter masala. Here is the ingredient list. You can also see it with the detailed recipe and tips and tricks in my blog www.foodsandflavorsbyshilpi.com To make paneer butter masala, I have already heated the pan at medium low heat and now I'll add some oil and butter. Here I'm using unsalted butter. As the butter melts, I'll add small cardamom or choti elaichi, which I crushed a little bit. And I'll also add some mace or javitri and mix them well. I'll let them cook for a few seconds so that they release their flavor in butter. Make sure you keep the heat low otherwise butter and spices will burn fast. And now I'll add freshly grated ginger and garlic or you can also use ginger garlic paste. Mix it well and cook till raw smell of ginger garlic is gone. Once ginger garlic becomes light brown in color and raw smell is gone, I'll add roughly chopped tomatoes. Mix them well and let them cook for a few minutes. Now add salt. Mix again. Cover and let the tomatoes cook in butter for about 7 to 8 minutes or till they become soft and mushy. Here I used unsalted butter but if you are using salted butter, add the salt accordingly. There are many ways of making paneer butter masala. But today I am making restaurant style where gravy is mainly made with tomatoes and not with onions. Here I am using ripe tomatoes which are a little sweet and not very tangy. Otherwise gravy will become too sour and may not taste good. It's about 8 minutes and I have stirred the tomatoes couple of times. And now they look nice soft and mushy. I will stir them once again and take them away from heat. I let them cool down for some time. Once tomatoes are cold enough, grind them to puree and try not to add any water while grinding. Now our puree is ready. Let's make gravy. For this I'll heat the pan at medium low heat and add butter. Stir and let the butter melt little bit. Butter paneer masala has creamy rich gravy. So do not hesitate while adding cream and butter. Now as the butter is melting, I'll add turmeric powder. Kashmiri lal mirch powder and red chilli powder. Mix them and now I will strain the tomato puree with the sieve as we want silky and smooth gravy. Mix it well and let it cook for 7 to 8 minutes. In between, I'll add few drops of red food color and some coriander powder and mix them well. Here adding food color is optional. I added it as it gives nice reddish color to the gravy. If you do not like it, you can skip it. Gravy has been cooking for about 8 minutes. Now I'll add very little water. Do not add too much of water as we want to keep the gravy thick. Mix it. And now I'll add one fourth cup of fresh cream and let it cook for two to three more minutes. Now I'll add paneer which I cut in one inch piece and some kasuri methi or dry fenugreek leaves which I have crushed with my hands to enhance the flavors. Mix everything gently and let the paneer cook in gravy for few more minutes. In between, check the salt, if needed adjust it accordingly. Butter paneer masala is now ready to serve. You can serve it with naan, rice, panathas or chapatis. Do try it and let us know how it comes out. Hope you liked today's recipe. For more quick and easy recipes, you can visit my blog www.foodsandflavorsbyshilpi.com or you can also visit my channel and don't forget to subscribe it. Thanks for watching my video. See you next time. Till then, happy cooking.